Hey everybody, it's Dan the Red, and welcome back to Galaxy Girls, right the last we left off. We woke up on a starship. We don't know what the book's going on, where we're going, and while we're here, we're just on a mission. In deep space, to find the wonders of Yuri. No. Um, well, I, you know what? Moving on. Finally, I don't have to keep being our get at. What a relief, she says. Um, examining backgrounds, because I obsess with this shit. I'm weird. It's quaint. I like the bookshelf right above the little bed alcove. Yeah, I live in here. I let my tired body fall into the bed. To my relief, the tense muscles slowly begin to unwind themselves. Thank you for the shot, I appreciate it. Sarah, huh? She sure is something. Or, no. Anyone would have the same sort of reaction as her, wouldn't they? It's only normal. Which is why Kodoha is not normal. I suppose that means the actual weirdo one is Kotoha, then. I suppose that means. That should have been your very first fucking realization only minutes after you started talking to the space cadet, okay? She seems awfully okay, maybe even happy to be here. Why is that? She's unhinged? Well, I'm just glad I can get along with at least one of them. Yeah, it's probably gonna turn into a murder fest, though. Getting along with her may mean that your innards end up as party streamers. Gonna turn into a fucking event horizon, just no hell, only Kodoha. Kodoha is hell, apparently, now. That's my prediction. Uh, my eyes slowly begin to close. And then go back right to this. But the sound of a beat coming from a nearby end table ensures that I remain awake longer. Ah, I nearly forgot to send in my report. Alright, I'd better do that before I fall asleep. Oh, well, I should probably get dressed first. That would have been embarrassing. Why, is it like a visual report? I pick up the PDA off the table and fiddle around with it. A moment later, the in-room hologram projector begins to boot up. Oh. Oh, this is... actually... neat. I like the mild animation. Nice touch. Anyway. Slowly, she forms in front of me, highlighted blue and transparent. I raise an arm into a salute. Commander Adana. Please recite your status report. So there are other he Okay, so what is going on then? Understood. You know, usually you don't just go understood, you actually, uh, you know, give your report. <laughs> Never mind. The next morning, having just woken up, I pick my PDA, uh, uh, I pick up my PDA and gra uh, gaze at its screen. Let's see. They're asking for another status report, ready? I just gave them before I went to sleep. <laughs> well, all right, I don't have anything to add, but I suppose nothing is an update too. Yeah, I went to bed, woke up, about to get some coffee, thank you. My fingers vigorously tap at the device's keypad. Moments after I stop, the projector quickly boots up again. Hey, you're in your nighty. Within moments, the commander is in the room with me, and I stand to attention. Officer, hmm, is something wrong, commander? You should be fully dressed and presenting yourself for a report. Oh, Dan, I finally realized that I'm still in my underwear. My entire body heats up with embarrassment. Um, my sincerest apologies, Commander. It won't happen again. I hope not. Moving along. Uh, moving on, please let your report. Yes, ma'am. There have been no changes since last time. Thank you. You have no new orders. Oh, you have new orders. Please listen carefully. I nod my head. Yes, ma'am. Get to know the occupants of the Starlight class better. Spend the day with each of them, if you can. By our calculations, deepening your relationship with them will increase the success rate of the mission. Is the mission to fuck in space? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to take out of that. Is the mission to bang abroad? Well, to bang abroad abroad in the void. I don't, I don't fucking... What is going on? And that is all. And no, that is not all. What is happening? The hologram flickers off. And my shoulders drop relaxedly. Oh, so that's why they asked for the update. I shouldn't have doubted them. What, maybe they thought you fucked someone in the night? Well, technically speaking, night, psycho, whatever. I smile brightly with renewed vigor. Time to get to making some moves. As always, I can depend on them to give me the best courses of action. They've never done me wrong. Or... No, I should stop overthinking it. I have more important things to do. Personal matters are relevant. After pulling on my clothes, I grab the PDA once again and head out the door. 
I reach out a closed fist and tap, and Kodoha, uh, tap on Kodoha's bedroom door. Oh. Okay, then. Nearly instantaneously, the electronic door opens, revealing all too excited adorable face. Oh, hi, Cap. Much need. Good morning, Kodoha. Did I wake you? Not at all. I've been up for a while now. I'm glad. Okay, just subtle moving toward each other. That's all right. So, what can I do for you this fine morning? At the yeah, step? Okay. I apologize for the abruptness. However, I was wondering if you'd mind spending the day together. Before I can even finish my statement, Godaha grins from ear to ear. Oh, I'd love to. I, I, lo I love getting to know my victims before I open them up and paint the walls with their beautiful colors. Red is the loveliest color. It's the most vibrant and full of life in all the world. We still don't know each other very well, and I'd like to remedy that. What? Um, why? With her cheeks slightly red, and Kodoha's ba uh, Kodoha bashfully flings her arm downwards. You seemed... Wait, didn't you seem excited a second ago? Yeah, yeah, you... I... Okay. Aw, oh, shucks. Of course I'd love that. Just, uh, give him a minute to get ready, okay? Was that... That looked like she was... Yeah, never mind. I smile and nod at the young woman as she quickly disappears back into her room. Um, a few minutes later, the door re... Uh, the, the room's door reopens and Kodaha happily steps out, wasting no time in wrapping herself... Uh, wrapping herself around one of my arms. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. A bit forward, yes, I... What are you doing? Hey, moving closer, and she's going in for the kill. I'm pumped and ready. Let's go. Arm and arm, we continue in the hallway. Hey, look, condiments. Just like, it's a fucking napkins and soy sauce and ketchup and mustard. And it's it just... <laughs> it's like we're in a mall or something. Man, I'm so hungry. You had good timing. I let her, I let her to go. Uh, you know, I'm actually hungry too. Don't talk about... Oh, we're talking about food. Fuck. Actually, no, please don't. We haven't confirmed that. Indeed. Speaking of which, do you usually cook for yourself? Er, no, not really. Is that an issue? She's like a hickey need or something. Of course she doesn't cook, fucking cook for herself. Not at all. Well, cooking for herself might mean microwave and uh, mi microwaves and uh, maybe adding water. There you go. Be steady, Zistons. Not at all. Uh, that, that would be the flavor packet, the pizza resistance, I mean. Uh, not at all. I just didn't want to step on your toes. I motioned towards one of the tables in front of Kodaha. Why don't you take a seat for now? I'll go whip us up, whip us up something. I'm a good cook, I promise. The raven-haired girl takes a seat and patiently places both of her elbows on the table. You won't hear me complaining. I bet you are. You look super mature. Definitely the type who can cook a banging home meal. A banging home meal. <laughs> Thank you um, for that, um, well, flattery, if you can call it that. I'm not sure that I'm deserving a compliment like that. Yes, I don't know if my food is properly banging, uh, but we shall see. But I'll take it. <laughs> just, 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 just go with it. <laughs> I quickly get to work in the kitchen. Well, that's a nice enough little, you know, image. Kodaha arches her back on the seat and firmly taps on her stomach with both of her hands. Okay. I mean, are you trying to draw attention to it? Yes, I know. It's it's plainly visible. I can see that. As are other aspects of yourself. I was totally right. This is, That was so delicious, Captain. I can't eat another bite. That's really saying something. I'm glad to hear it. I will admit, I was a little worried you wouldn't like it. The mechanic playfully sticks out her tongue at me and winks. It was cl uh, clearly a baseless worry. Hmm... That eh, sounded too fancy to come out of my mouth, didn't it, Captain? Yes, you know, I was almost about to say that didn't sound quite right for you. Not at all. You can speak however you'd like here. And, you know, it's just the three of us. There's no need to call me your captain all the time. You can use my name if you'd like. She shrugs. I suppose there isn't, but to be honest, I just sort of like calling that. It definitely fits you. Oh? You have discerned that after less than 24 hours together? Definitely. Everything about you screams authority figure, the way you dress, talk, and even walk. You've been paying attention to how she walks, have you? Mm-hmm. Surprised at her words, I blush and bashfully avert my eyes. Oh, I hadn't realized. And if I called you Mrs. Matthews, it'd make you sound really old. Just Erica makes you seem too normal, too. I I'm weird, then? Oh, no, sorry, that came out wrong. It'd kind of like, uh, 
it'd kind of be like calling the teacher uh, the bit the, the why the fuck the leader of a country there by their first name that's ah, hard to explain forget I said anything it's all right I'm not offended or anything that's a relief uh are you ready to go now I suppose you've gotten a little off track yep so what's up next I was thinking we'd head to the lounge so we can uh, watch something together what do you think nice I'm totally up for it Oh, let's watch an anime for my backlog. We can experience it from the beginning together. It'll be a super special bonding experience. Ah, oh, Jesus. Anime? Something with animations, right? Yeah, it's just a Japanese term for an animation. You're right. Hmm, but why do they have a separate term in English? Are we really doing this? Are we really going over this now? If I had to guess, I'd say it's because Japanese animations are a lot different than Western ones. Yes, they're, the stylization of the art forms generally are a bit different. They are kind of have their own twist. There are also cultural tropes and so on that bleed more into it, whereas, you know, Western animation has Western tropes that bleed into it. Well, you'll understand when you see it. That's what they all say. That's what they... <laughs> you'll understand when you, when you see it. Just come on. Just watch a few series with me, why don't you? Yes, I suppose so. It looks nice. Those especially look nice. Yes. That one's my favorite. The light from the television continues to illuminate the dimly lit room. I must say, I wasn't expecting that. I've never seen such a uh, gaudy show. It certainly was nothing like the animations I've seen. Underwear shots on clearly underage girls? Sexual harassment in the form of breast groping? This would be a PR nightmare for any Western company. Well, a Western company that wasn't on a channel that gave, well, that was not on a channel that did not give a fuck, sure. There are some platforms that just don't fucking care. It's also cultural, again. Kodaha chuckles slightly before patting him on the shoulder. I suppose you could say it's, it's kind of like the thing of, um... Ah. Uh. Well, no, no, that's not quite the same thing. I was gonna say... Uh, well, use the example of how it's perfectly fine in, uh, Western entertainment to, you know, have, show someone being violently ripped apart, but if you show a boob, then oh no, you get banned. Um, it's not quite the same thing, but I suppose it is an example of said cultural mm, quote-unquote norms but did whatever in any case no I lighten up it's totally fine I'll just be like this stuff is that so I'm a little surprised that it's even legal honestly why are we going over it <clears throat> definitely well maybe etchy just isn't the right genre for you let's try mecha next after about a nervous laughter I decided to speak up you know what why don't we take a break from shows for a bit Otherwise, you will be here for the rest of your entire life. We can just sit here and talk and interrupt her for a little while. Oh, okay. <laughs> the girl pouts while dramatically pushing her two index fingers together. Of course, we don't have to if you, prefer, if you prefer otherwise. I won't be offended, so please speak up. In contrast to her earlier performance, Kodaha jerks herself back to a more joyous looking position. Oh, sorry. I wasn't actually upset. I guess I just did that on, out of habit. It's a withdrawal symptom, okay? She needs anime or else she just kind of goes through that. I have to question what sort of habit that is, regardless. She's clearly a good person. No, what you mean is she clearly comes across as if she's a nice person. I still am, I'm still pretty sure she's a murderer. So it doesn't matter. Talking sounds fun too. Let's go for it. Okay, let's how long this lasts. All right. I make sure to properly face my companion before saying anything else. Oh boy, uh, choices, great, here we go. Ask her about other likes, ask her about dislikes, ask her about life on Earth. Hmm, this could breach into the whole, like, not supposed to make them think about where they came from. Uh, this may just make her angry, this is the safe option? It's a bit vanilla. This could be risky. That's that's what I'm thinking. Th I, I, mm. Mm. I, 
kind of want to go for like the no risk, no reward mentality and go for life on Earth. Uh, but it's depending on what how her life on Earth was, on top of the whole po uh, potentially causing problems with her asking too many questions, you know, making her think about where she is and why she's here. If her life on Earth sucked, that could also judge it some bad shit. I don't. It, 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 V vanilla or the risky one is how I'm thinking about this. Uh, uh fucking I'll play it safe. You like anime? I see that now. I I see that now. <laughs> Emphatically stated. What else? Hmm, video games for sure. Of course. Uh, it backs away. Oh, you're one of those too. Ah, oh, yes, I've heard of those. They've been popular for centuries, haven't they? A thriving industry is over here. That's right. Don't you play any, Captain? Any favorite series or genre? No, unfortunately, I have not had the time for many hobbies. Or, I didn't before, rather. We still have some time, right? Why don't I teach you how to play? There's gotta be at least one game you like. It's statistically imp improbable for there not to be. I suppose that'd be fine, but I don't think I'll be very good at it. I've never held a controller in my life. And use mouse and keyboard, it's superior. <laughs> okay, for aiming, honestly, but I, I, I will admit, um, a gamepad is better if you want finite controls over a character's movements. Because, I mean, you can tap, you can try to tap a fucking WASD button as lightly as you fucking want to get them to move. It just isn't great for those, you know, perfect incremental motions. Uh, a, a joystick does give you better control in that regard. However, for aiming, I, I'm, I've, I've always found a mouse to be far more precise for like, go aim here, aim the gun here, aim the gun here, or aim anything right where I want it, you know, now. That's totally fine. There are games for people of all skill levels. We can start with a turn-based RPG. Should be slow enough for you to handle. Well, if she's any good at tactics, then sure. I would have said maybe you want to start with like a fucking, <laughs> fucking phone game or something. A turn-based RPG? Well, I've heard of RPGs before, I believe. Something with guns, right? Well, they can have guns, sure. The RPG just means a roleplay game. Um, no. Wrong RPG. Uh, no, it, 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 uh, you're... Hmm. It, it's like you're associating every RPG ever made with magic and swords. There are plenty of RPGs that have firearms in them. And just let me show you. I don't think you enjoy this. She grabs on my hands and leaves me at the door. Oh. Oh, a fucking course. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking around and just getting... What is with your desktop? No. Okay. That physically hurts me. I don't even consider my desktop to be that clean, but what... What? What is... No. I... Ugh. Uh, ugh. You know what? I'm gonna end this here. Uh, that, that hurts me. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed up till that. Um, and, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, I, I've gotta go like detox, bleach. Uh.